Good morning, everybody. Well, look at that. We are backed into the dock right now, and they have cleared a lot of snow out of the yard here. And I was parked right there where that trailer is right now. And uh, well, the cleaning crews here last evening they asked me if I could move all the way over there into the back corner over there. So we did go ahead and do that. We moved over there and uh, slept over there. It was nice and peaceful over there. Nobody bothered me over there. So we were nice and quiet. Had a good night's sleep. That's right. And the bonus part is it looks like it has pretty much stopped snowing. It's a few light flurries, flakes here and there, but other than that, we are looking like it's going to be nice if they uh, got on the road there late last night or whatever. Uh, I think it stopped snowing here about 11 o'clock last night or something like that. So if they uh, got on the road and cleared the roads and all that, I think our roads should be wet. But it should be alright to drive on, with, even with an empty on. So that is fantastic and probably you guys noticed I was holding my uh, blue parrot. Bluetooth up here. It's a VXI Blue Parrot 350. Yeah, I think that's what it is. If memory serves me right, I don't even. Yeah, uh, B350 XT. That's what this is. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but uh, I got an email last night or yesterday throughout the day from uh, Blue Parrot. I don't know how how or exactly they got my email address so I guess at one point or another I guess I given them my email address for some odd reason and uh, so they emailed me last night and uh, said that there is a way to update your Bluetooth firmware I'm like hmm never heard of that before never heard that before that you could actually update the software and the Bluetooth there so Said, all right well let's check it out so I went on the uh, email there after I edit my video together and uh, I downloaded the uh, update software and sure enough uh, I think mine had a version of 2.2 firmware version in there and it had an update for a 2.8 version update so uh, that was kind of strange for me <laughs> never knew that you could update a, a, a even the Bluetooth software. <laughs> Hopefully that Bluetooth is going to work better now. I've been having some issues with it the odd time where I'd say if I pressed a button it would go and it wouldn't stop. I had to plug it back into the power source in order for it to stop. So uh, hopefully that will be fixed now. I'm really hoping that that is going to be Resolve now because that was annoying sometimes you know you're you're driving down the road or whatever you want to adjust the volume or whatever or I press the uh, button to end the call or to answer the call or whatever and, it would, and I couldn't hear nobody you know so I actually had to disconnect my Bluetooth and plug it in and reconnect it you know so that was a pain in the butt sometimes but uh, I mean I just updated it last night so I guess we'll find out here in the next couple of days how that's going to go but uh, I just figured that's kind of interesting i figured i'd tell you guys about it so maybe you guys can go on to the uh bluetooth uh, websites and uh, update your firmware maybe if you're having some issues or whatever uh, maybe a good idea to update especially the uh, 350 model there you know since i've been having some issues i'm sure some other guys are having the same problem so but anyways we are backed into the dock like i said and we're just waiting to get unloaded here so hopefully we'll uh, be able to get unloaded here ASAP and then we'll be able to make our way down to Hazleton.
for tonight. I'm suspecting that I ain't gonna get my load on today, but that's okay. At least we'll be down there, right? Ready to pick the load up tomorrow morning, but yeah, anyways, other than that, I uh, went and since my appointment was only 10 o'clock this morning, I went and added uh, yesterday's video uh, too. I, yesterday evening, I added the day before video, and uh, yeah, this morning I added it yesterday's video, and I'm uploading it right now. Yeah, look at that, I'm uploading them too right now. So hopefully here as soon as that's done, uh, I'm all cut up, and because uh, I'm going back to Canada, so. Uh, uh, maybe not tonight, but tomorrow I'll be back in Canada. So as, as long as I can get as many videos uploaded as possible with my Wi-Fi uh, system here, then if I do get me a long trip in Canada, I should be all right, right? I just got to think ahead, right? So what I'm going to try and do is tonight, even today's video, I'm going to try and edit that together tonight, so that way I can upload it uh, right away, and hopefully that's uploaded by the time I cross the border. You know, we'll be a good ship. We'll be in business, right? But anyways, I'm gonna get off of here. We'll show you some more goodies throughout today. So stick around. Here we go, guys and gals. We have gotten our load off. Now it's a matter of finding out Continue on how on everything is gonna look. Miles. Let's look over there to the right. To the right over there. You see a big waterfall up there, or sort of like a waterfall or whatever. That big wall that you see up ahead there, that's actually uh, a block blocking the uh, lake up there. There's actually a big lake on the other side of the road up there, so uh, I don't know how good the camera is going to capture it, but uh, we're going to try anyways. But this is Clinton, Massachusetts that we are leaving right, uh, right now. That's right, right here to the right. I don't know... Uh, yeah, I think they do have a little bit of a waterfall up there, but it's kind of like underground. Like here you can see the lake right above. That's beautiful, isn't it? There you have it. Yep, we get our load off. Now we got 315 miles or so to go to Pennsylvania to our reload. GPS says we should be there around 5 o'clock, quarter after 5 this afternoon. That's Eastern time though. So we are going to attempt to see if we can get there. Hopefully the roads will be good just like they are over here. Like, I mean, if everything is going to look like this, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy. Because like this is very drivable, so I would mind driving on this kind of road yesterday we were scared that we were gonna have a still a snowstorm this morning and uh, it would kind of suck to be driving in that kind of condition but here we are now it stopped snowing and we are good to go it looks like I'm just kind of hoping that my uh, preloaded trailer is gonna be ready I might give him a call later on and uh, See what they say, see what they have to say. But anyways, let's get on down the road here. It's a beautiful area up here though. A little bit hilly and narrow stretch of highway up here, but uh, it's gorgeous though. Yeah, kind of going around the lake up here. Yeah, coming in here last night, it was uh, fairly slippery actually. I was uh, a few spots when I was going up these hills. I was actually starting to spin a little bit, so I had to be careful to get up here. But we made it, that's the main thing, right? That's what I always say, that's the most important part. We can get there safely, that's all that matters. Yeah. But now they do have some snow up here. Very wet snow though, heavy and wet snow. Well, let's see if we can find our way out of here. I mean, we've been here so many times, we kind of know which way to go, but... Seems like Grand McNally always wants me to go a different way out than uh, when I come in here, so... I always got to be careful so I can go out the same way, right? 
That's right. So let's get on down out of here and uh, let's see what the rest of the day will have in stock for us today. All right, here we are back in New York State. That's right. Yep. We are slowly making our way uh, towards Pennsylvania. We only have about 170 more miles to go to our uh, pickup place. And I already tried calling them, but I couldn't get an answer from them, or uh, they wouldn't answer their phone, is what I meant to say. So I left a message and asked them to call me back, but so far we haven't gotten a phone call back yet. So, I guess we'll just uh, take her easy. Probably go up here to the next truck stop or something like that, and... Uh, yeah, I'll probably go in there and grab me a good bite to eat. And maybe I'll go in and take me a shower. Yeah, waste a few minutes or whatever. Who cares, right? <laughs> no big deal anyways if my load ain't gonna be ready, right? And then we'll make our way over there, I guess. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon, so only be about another two and a half hours to get up there anyways so by the time I stop here it's another half an hour down the road so probably only be about two and a quarter hours by the time uh, yeah, by the time I be down in Pennsylvania I'll be another two and a quarter hours after I stop there so so yeah I guess we're just gonna take a little bit of time off and relax today It'll be a relaxing day that's right. But it's glad I'm glad to see the sun shining. It's a little bit cloudy, but other than that, it's good roads, just cruising around. Well, this looks like we are getting uh, towards Pennsylvania. And they just passed these little mountains up here. It is where we are going to be going. into Pennsylvania yeah that's right only a few more hundred a few hundred more yards and we'll be in Pennsylvania we only have 102 miles to go and we'll be at our uh, pickup place it's only well three o'clock my time it's four o'clock uh, Eastern time up here, so here it says Pennsylvania welcomes you. Oh, that's nice. Pennsylvania. That's nice. But anyways, should be there. Well, I guess five o'clock. That'll be six o'clock Eastern time, so. Uh, We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Alrighty, guys and gals, we got something going on over here. That's right. Looks like uh, somebody tipped her over. Wow! Look at they got some buckets up here. They got some cleanup uh, crew up here. Wow! Somebody rolled her over pretty good. That tractor trailer, that trailer looks like he's completely broken into pieces. Wow, that's crazy. There is a piece there. Must have happened yesterday and uh, all the snowstorm up here. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. She wanted to feel those big truck wheels rolling underneath her feet. Her boss was a jerk, and off his work just wasn't her cup of tea. She climbed out of that hole ten years ago to follow her lifelong dream. And learned to drive, now she feels the pride every time that diesel screams. She traded her high heels for eighteen wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam in gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's 
guitar, all American truck driving woman. She worked nights under truck stop lights, serving that driver man. But filling their cups wasn't enough, she had a bigger plan. She cashed in her tips and bought a big rig and cut that apron loose. And now she's the one getting waited on in that driver's only booth. She traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. So if you see her rolling down the road, pulling that heavy load, show her respect and courtesy. Cause man, that girl's been out there proving she can keep America moving just as good as you and me. Traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. Yeah, she'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just had a little bit of a pit stop up here. Uh, just I guess at the split of 84 and 81 or whatever 380 and all that where all that comes together and we uh, put in 50 gallons worth of fuel because uh, we can't quite make it to Toronto but uh, now we can since now we did fuel in uh, 50 gallons of fuel I think we can make it to Toronto that's right I don't really want to fuel up too much up here, especially since up here, Pennsylvania and New York, the fuel is way more expensive than it is uh, in Toronto. So I uh, figured, you know what? I'm just putting just enough in so I can make it to Toronto. And that's it. Only put 50 gallons, so it'll get me about 300 miles. Maybe a little more than 300, depending on how heavy everything pulls. And I only have about 355 miles to go anyways to Toronto from here. Big truck, big going there, uh, all right, all right. I guess they're talking about that other side there. There is uh, a little bit of a back up over there because it is construction and stuff like that. So, but yeah, we only have 34 more miles to go, and we'll be at our uh, pickup place, and we'll, I guess, find out if we uh, get our loaded trailer today or not. I wouldn't really mind if I could only pick it up tomorrow, but uh, at the same time, it would be kind of nice to pick it up today. Then I could go a couple hours down the road yet, and uh, I'd be closer to towards Toronto, right? I could actually pick up my load, just drive a couple hours, have my tent off, and I could be in Toronto probably by tomorrow by lunchtime. That would be awesome. Perfect timing for going in and have a steak, right? That's what I would think. But anyways, let's make our way down and find out, I suppose. Well, guys and girls, we are done for today. Now, we had a big challenge to get to our pickup place. And you will know here in a second. So let's take a look outside the window. If we may... If you can't see what I'm talking about, look at all the snow that's right in front of my 
hood there right in front of me well we are at the uh, customer but uh, it was not easy getting here I'm telling you that right now that was the toughest one I have ever experienced no, in Pennsylvania it's hilly, and I'm pretty sure Truckers 316 can probably relate to this. That it is not always easy to get up these hills when you are in snowy condition like this, with an empty wagon, wagon like what we was talking about this morning. That's right. He was talking about it uh, yesterday. I think yesterday's video already. We were talking about that, and uh, today it came very close to me not making it up here. I uh, I was pretty much spun out there on the hill, and uh, I was spinning around there for about half an hour, 45 minutes till I finally got out of there. Finally made it over the top, as they say. That's right. So uh, I went in here and checked in. Uh, my load is only to be scheduled tomorrow at 8 a.m. anyways. So uh, I went and checked in and uh, let him know I'm here. She said load is not ready, but it should be ready by 9. 9.30ish. And I said, that's totally fine by me. As long as you let me sleep in the yard here, I'm a happy camper. She said, yep, yeah, no problem. So I said, all right, I'll uh, park her right in here and that's good enough for me. So tomorrow morning we'll go check in and grab our paperwork and hopefully we can get our load on and load a trailer and uh, get out of here. Hopefully at least we'll have some weight and uh, by that time maybe it will have slowed down with the snowstorm up here, hopefully. I'm really hoping by tomorrow morning this has disappeared again like we did yesterday night but uh, you never know right so uh, with that being said I am tired after spending a long time spinning around there trying to get this up on this hill so we're gonna go to bed I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you again tomorrow behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down